this video we shall be talking more about the explanation behind CNN how each step works now we already know the steps the different steps are convolution the different steps are convolution then comes relu then comes pooling then comes flattening and then comes fully connected layer but what exactly do they do internally we'll try to understand that in this particular video so for an example we will be considering this particular image now what is an image image is nothing but combination of multiple pixels and when it comes to pixels pixels range from 0 to 255 if you talk about pixel ranges from 0 to 255 where 0 is black and 255 is white that means the lower the value it is probably darker image or a darker pixel 255 or closer to that lighter pixel simple okay 0 is dark or black and 1 is white okay so I have randomly provided some numbers here that means just imagine this is a 7 cross 7 image which has 49 pixels simple this particular image is a 7 cross 7 image it has 49 pixels now in order to perform the convolution step the first step is to define a feature detector now what is a feature detector let's try to understand in CNN, there is a concept called as feature detector. Feature detector is simply something which detects the features. As simple as that. There is no better explanation for that. The other names of feature detectors are, it is also called as filters. It is also called as kernels. Now, in this example, I have defined a 3 cross 3 feature detector. Why 3 cross 3? I don't know. I have just given an example logically speaking when it comes to real time scenarios we usually go for an odd filter only okay we never use even filters even in a lot of research papers you can go through there are some specific explanations of using odd filters but that we will be not covering in this video so just imagine that we always use odd filters that means 3 cross 3 or 5 cross 5 or 7 cross 7 so I have defined a 3 cross 3 matrix. What are these numbers? 1, minus 1, 1, 0, 1. I don't know. Our task as a researcher or as a data scientist or as a deep learning expert while implementing a CNN will be to introduce feature detectors. The values within feature detectors are basically black box. They are automatically created. Okay. And in real scenarios, we don't define just one feature detector. Imagine this way that this is your image, right? This is a small feature detector. So this basically goes through the image like this, like this, like this. And it tells you that, oh, this is where, you know, most of our information is there. This is where information is there. No information here information. But can we rely on this feature detector? The answer is no. So we define multiple feature detectors. So again, normally speaking, the thumb rule behind creating number of feature detectors is we define two to the power of n format. So when you are starting implementing your first CNN code, probably start with 32 filters and you can slowly, slowly increase the numbers. So the numbers you increase may be 32. 64 128 your model becomes complex and complex okay that's all about your feature detectors so right now i'm just taking one example of feature detector and i will show you how this feature detector works now we have this feature detector what happens here is just imagine you have your input image you have your feature detector feature detector is not just one there are multiple okay i'm just taking one example so that you understand how the process works simple 
so how feature detector works when you have a 7 cross 7 image and you are running a feature detector your output has to be a reduced version of the same image so logically speaking here your output will be a 5 cross 5 matrix how let's try to solve it so first 3 cross 3 block is this part right now here if i start multiplying the blocks first block multiplied with the first block so it's nothing but 0 multiplied with 1 plus second block multiplied with second block 0 multiplied with 0 plus and this goes on so 0 multiplied with 1 is 0 0 0 0 minus 2 0 0 0 1 so minus 2 plus 1 which will be minus 1 okay similarly we will move one pixel to the right side and one pixel to the bottom let's move one by one let's move right one pixel to the right side now this is your new area right now feature detector again goes on it so again multiplication happens 0 multiplied with 1 0 0 1 0 0 0 0 0 5 so 1 plus 5 it's going to be 6 another step orange one 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 1 this becomes 1 another step 1 multiplied with 1 1 minus 1 1 minus 1 0 0 0 0 0 this is 0 and the last one will be this one yellow part 0 0 0 1 1 0 0 it's going to be 0 is there any other block no there is no other block towards right now we will move towards down so moving towards down again one pixel down so i will draw it in red now 4 multiplied with 1 is 4 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 it will be 4 and this goes on this goes on and finally you come across a 5 cross 5 matrix i will recommend you to pause this video here and try to solve the entire part i will be and however will be pausing here and because you already know how it works similarly if you want it for this pixel it will be this block uh, let me draw it in green 0 0 1 1 0 2 0 1 1 it will be 1 okay this pixel 0 0 0 2 1 minus 2 1 minus 1 it will be minus 1 and this pixel 0 0 0 0 only 2 1 1 2 1 2 1 1 1 okay and this is how the entire output comes so a 7 cross 7 image if you are feeding a 3 cross 3 feature detector your output is a 5 cross 5 image simple not that simple why did we move just one pixel to the right and one pixel to the left uh, to the bottom why by default we move one pixel this movement of one pixel is called as strides by default my strides is one what if i'm using two strides again strides is nothing but a hyper parameter that you use in your cnn architecture what if we use two strides let's try to solve it two strides i will just format this entire graph i have the same three cross three matrix and then we will try to see what will be the output so first block will be this it will be minus one minus one second block will be two pixels to the right green part zero 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 one one last part will be this zero 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 all zero one one zero it will be zero so when you are using three uh, sorry strides equals to two your output is going to be a three cross three matrix so it all depends how many strides do you want to use but what's more important is 
when you are using the convolution step at least here initially your it was 49 pixels now using just one stride you are able to get 25 pixels almost 50% reduction in the number of pixels but information remains the same that is the beauty of cnn your information is remaining the same now let's just take this example and we will go ahead to the next step which will be relu this is the output to relu and as i don't have the numbers here i will randomly populate 1 2 3 1 make sure you calculate values for this okay don't take these numbers like because these are just randomly populated numbers minus 4 minus 5 something like that okay now what is relu again a refresher relu is nothing but like this this is relu y is equals to max of 0 comma x so relu can never be negative if x is less than 0 relu is 0 if x is greater than 0 relu is y equals to x so the output of relu is very simple the output of relu is nothing but it's a the negatives will be 0 0 0 0 0 anything else 0 so this is your final output of relu after relu comes your pooling step pooling okay pooling step again in pooling i already explained you that there are multiple multiple concepts let me just tell you about max pooling and then i will tell you about average pooling again in pooling you have to define how much pooling do you want let's say you are defining a 2 cross 2 pooling so what really happens is that it goes through the entire image 2 cross 2 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 and it basically finds if you are using max pooling it will find the maximum pixel value so let me just draw the diagram and then i will explain first second third fourth oh let's not draw fourth fifth this one this one and this one so this is the this is how your pooling goes through the entire 5 cross 5 image and your ultimate output will be 3 cross 3 so max output of max will be as simple as this what is the maximum value in this block 6 maximum value in this block 3 1 1 3 1 1 3 1 similarly what is average pooling average just takes the average 6 plus 4 plus 1 11 by 4 which will be around 3.75 hey, 2.75 11 by 4 is 2.75 right 2.75 yeah. 2 plus 3 6 by 4 which will be 1.5 1 by 4 0 0.25 1 by 4 0 0.25 0 0.25 2 by 4 0 0.5 2 to 4 5 3 8 by 4 2 0 0.25 and 3 by 4 0 0.75 this is the output of your average pooling this is the output of your max pooling okay again this 2 cross 2 is configurable you can actually configure it in your convolution in your uh, neural networks in your cnn code now just imagine you are using this pooling okay max pooling then comes your okay okay let me just cancel it out after pooling comes your flattening what is the output here this one Flattening will be simply this. 
so 631131131 and this will be nothing but this okay this is the output of your flattening layer and after that directly you can create nine neurons and then you can create your output neuron this is all about your convolution steps so if i quickly draw the diagram of convolution i already have the diagram but i love drawing it even if i don't draw it properly just imagine there as these are multiple pixels so just imagine this 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 what is this this is nothing but a smiley the image goes let's say this is your conv layer then comes your relu then comes again your con then relu then pooling pooling then comes your flattening then comes your fully connected layer then if you want to add another fully connected layer you can and then comes your final output okay something like this and then comes your final output and this output will basically give you whether it is a this smiley or it is a this smiley and this is a two layer two conv layer network this is all about cnn let me just show you the diagram as well this is all about cnn so in the next class we will be jumping into the code part where we will be talking about how to build a cnn from scratch so we'll be taking some exciting examples to help you understand how cnn code works and we'll also try to you know work on multiple use cases so that's it about this particular video in the next video we'll quickly jump into the practical part which is the most important and most uh, exciting part see you